Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Pat Proverbs here from One and Gaming, throwing up those heavy fucking ones. And let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Throwback Thursday, that is correct. This is something we've been tossing around for quite some time now. Doing a multi cod throwback Thursday from the glory days. And what I mean by glory days is what you're watching here is Black Ops, the original. Demolition on Jungle, one of my favorites. Um, incredibly hard to argue that you guys didn't have a blast um, with this game, this map, these kill streaks. Um, and, and the beautiful thing about going back in time in CODs is seeing, I mean, this is a little more complex than like a World at War or a COD 4, two of my favorite games of all time. Um, however, just how simple it really was. You had your perks. Then you did challenges, you got your pro perks, uh, you had X amount of guns to choose from, X amount of secondaries, you had a grenade, a smoke, and, that, and that's really it. This was the first game that had um, the motion sensor, but quite honestly, it was the simplicity of CODs that, in my opinion, uh, made the game fun to play and really was the attracting factor um, to the original communities, which, is, which were obviously, they were the best, uh, the original communities on... World at War and COD 4, the original teams, um, that was really when we when I got into it. And, and it's nostalgic to watch this. And what I've done for you guys, this is a 14-minute gameplay, so you're going to see all the gameplay. I've just put hit when they're in kill streaks at 2-something uh, X, and the normal gameplay is in 1.5 X. So I apologize for that, but I didn't really want to sit up here and talk to you guys for... 14 minutes even though not that I don't want to or not that I couldn't it's just you know I want to keep keep it fresh for you guys 14 minutes is a lot of time to ask um, out of your day so what we're gonna start doing on Thursdays from now on is precisely what I just said throwing it back um, this will be episode one of throwback Thursday and you better bet your ass with the amount of fun I had going back and looking at these these gameplays um, that we're going to be doing this uh, on a regular basis. And this to me, that was, I mean, argue with me here in the comments if you want. Actually, don't, you don't have to argue because I'm not going to be confrontational with anybody. But honestly, what COD was your guys' favorite? What kill streak was your favorite? Who was the software publisher of your favorite COD? Um, Infinity Ward or Treyarch, I already know the answer to mine, although it's a tough question if you think about World at War on one hand, COD 4 on the other. Um, but, I mean, look at these kill streaks, look at the map design, look at how like big of a joke the spawns were. I mean, these were the days, this was, you could have fun for hours play, playing this game, and I just, I don't have the same fucking tingling sensation up my leg. For Call of Duty Ghosts, as I did for, let's say, COD 4 World at War, the original Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2 even, even Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3 things started to fall off for me. Um, that's just my opinion. Obviously, different play styles would, you know, different players would have um, different opinions on that, but quite honestly, it was the simplicity um, to me, which which made these games special and amazing and so much fun to play. Anyway, what you just saw was his one and only death in this game. This is actually a 116 and one uh, gameplay by my boy uh, Box One End, who actually, lo and behold, this is how he got his name Box. Um, he was the his tag previously was Cardboard Box. That's why you hear me refer to him a lot as Cardboard. Uh, like I said, I cut this 14-minute gameplay down to about 7 minutes and 23 seconds. So we're on the second round of demo here on Jungle, one of my favorites ever. Um, but basically what I wanted to talk about now really is where we go with the channel. Uh, again, this is a video you can comment on if you didn't comment on the announcement of the Mod Junkies Pro Series giveaway. Remember, we're just picking... Oh, Spawn Flanks is actually picking at random because he's the one contributing the controller. Um, just a name in the comments section of every video from then until Friday, January 24th to give away that controller. We are then giving away um, a Voodoo Mods 12 mode rapid fire mod. It's purple with white LEDs. We are then giving away an Evil Master Mod V3. 
So the next month or so, we're going to be giving away uh, about four controllers total, all basic, basically brand new. They are for the Xbox 360, and, and I hope they land in the hands of someone who could really use a controller um, on that system. We've kind of all moved on to the one, so, you know, what better way to give back to the community and, and to just, I mean, if the community was more like that, I feel like it would be better, even despite it going downhill with um, the last two CODs, really, I would say. It's really going downhill, and it's, it's noticeable, and it's sad um, to someone who, you know, has been around the block with all of these uh, CODs and seen ginormous titans of pub stomping teams come and go. Um, from the days of World at War headquarters and COD 4 shipment battles and the whole nine. But I have to say that this brought a fucking smile to my face this morning when I when I finally decided to do this. And this took a lot of effort to do. Uh, I had to reset up my 360, go capture this, as well as then render it once out in a appropriate time for you guys. Because like I said, I don't expect anyone to take 14 minutes out of their day to watch us. We're not all that important. Um, maybe if I get it down to 7, I thought you guys really might enjoy it, though, being as it is a throwback. And anyone who who has been there, done that, really, really, really probably appreciates how, just how great this game um, truly was. And it's a shame it'll never happen, but I often talk about how great it would be if they would remake um, World at War at Black Ops 1 in, like, a combo pack for a next-gen consoles it'll never happen although i can tell you right now i'd buy a hundred copies just in support of it um but think about also in the comments like i said i asked you guys what your favorite cod was of all time that you played uh favorite map feel free to share that with us favorite game mode map combo think about the favorite kill streak combo now this is hard this is hard to rival right here the sr 71 huey and high end um it was just so fucking dominant. Like, I mean, it really was even more so than, like, Dog Swarm. Way more than Dog Swarm because of how the spawns were structured on these maps. Uh, it was so primitive. But this is the end of the game, guys. You have it right there. 116 and 1. That, I mean, what more can I say other than I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of Throwback Thursday. Um, for anything and everything One Nation Gaming, keep it tuned right fucking here. Remember, comment section in every video up to Friday, January 4th gets you a chance to win a Mod Junkies Pro Series controller. Stay fucking beautiful, people, and take it easy.